morning, everybody. May I have your attention, please? And in that regard, I will invite Mr. Boaz Manoa to open this program with a word of prayer. Good morning. Please appreciate Robert. I was just having a chat with him this morning that he's not just a public figure, but he's an international figure. Please appreciate him again. Uh, I'll read a quote, and then thereafter I'll make a prayer even to celebrate this launch of AR website. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. No man can shut it. An open door for Africa, open door to the, to the international world, open door for opportunities, open door to effective communication, open door to access our product, open door for achievement. This door is AAR website. I'd like us to do one thing. We can sit, we can stand where we are so that we can honor God in our prayer. Let's all uh, take this opportunity just to thank him for the gift of life. Let's close our eyes in his presence. Our Father and our God, we come before your presence with thanksgiving. And Father God, we pray, even as we, you take us through, that your glory and your power be with us. We thank you and we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Clap if you're clapping, ladies. minutes I want to ask you as an individual who are you if I asked you to answer yourself that question who are you I can bet my bottom dollar 99% of you will get it absolutely wrong in the words people say fake it until you make it I say differently believe in yourself and the other people will believe in you you work for AR which for me is the one of the biggest companies we have in this country. So even you people, when you leave this place, when you're going to see a client or when someone is coming here, you must understand you're the best. I'm sure we'll be meeting sometime later. And as we're having tea, because of Maluya, I'll, I'll hang around that area for too long. At this point, allow me, uh, with the club, unless you're jealous, uh, to bring in Mr. Tom Okeo to give us a brief history on the website. Thank you, Robert. Um, we have come a long way. We are actually 30 years down the line. And yet we have never had a, a website that somebody can be proud of. When I was being interviewed for the job, I was asked, Tom, will you, what will you do for us in the, in the first 100 days? Then I said, the first thing that we would like to do is to have a website. Uh, it has come so soon. I'm even wondering what am I going to do with the other 90 something days. Um, there's a lot of work that has come in uh, through this. For the last three weeks, I think I've been leaving this office around 8, 9 o'clock. Thank you, Sir Joseph, with your team. Uh, a very dedicated team that was um, spearheading this uh, this program, this process. Wilfred, thank you so much with your team. Zisa, I cannot forget you. You kept us on toes. I think it just worked. Miracles. The team that actually um, um, cannot forget Nixon. Thank you so much for that input. A lot of material that came in came from Nixon. Nixon is just like a library for, for AR. <laughs> Anything you want, ask Nixon and he'll just give it to you. Thank you so much, Nixon. Yeah, please, uh, maybe you should write a book about AR because you know so much about AR. Let me recognize a few guys from the fifth floor. Bernardo Mwenga, 
He has come to confirm if you have spent the money wisely. Karibu sana. You can see uh, the GM Charles Karioke. Asante sana. You're a good crusher. Then, oh, Dr. Korir. Yeah, from second floor, yeah? The other side. Fifth floor. Thank you so much. Let me also recognize some guys from the diaspora who just landed in uh, this morning. Karibu sana, Manolo. Kamu wakuone wana. Kujia wanekane. Yeah. Um, Evans Manono is our regional manager at uh, Nyanza Western. You want hello? Hello? Asante <laughs> sana. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say a big thank you to Grace Matu for organizing this event together with um, Carol. Thank you so much, Asimba. That was very, very nice. Carol Munen, I cannot forget you because, I mean, Carol said you must deliver this thing no matter what. But we were sure to launch this thing on Friday. It's only that she was busy, so we were not able to do it that Friday, but we were ready, we ready on that Friday. Let me also recognize the branch managers. Karibun Sana, you want to come forth? Branch managers. We have Francis, we have Carofio, we have uh, Patricia. Of course, we have our regional manager, Nairobi, Wazvano. Thank you so much. I think the website is going to do so much for us. It is a window, as actually Manoa said in his prayers, a window to the whole world. We're in the digital platform. I remember when I was buying my car, um, I didn't go to any showroom in Nairobi. I went to a showroom in the internet. So, um... English testing no longer means paying hundreds of dollars, making appointments, traveling to the test center, and a long, stressful time. Since our inception in 1984, we have grown our offerings to a diverse portfolio of services from an initial focus on accident evacuation by road and air. As a leading provider of outpatient health services, we serve over 600,000 patients annually. We currently have 21 outpatient centers across seven counties and will continue to increase our footprint across Kenya within the next few years. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your continued trust and engagement year after year. We strive to serve you in excellence with a focus on preventive health care, evidence-based treatment, and optimal clinical outcomes where your well-being and optimal health is our priority. Our success has largely been driven by our staff's commitment to offer quality and affordable health care. Our friendly front office team who give you a warm curry when you walk in. To our courteous nurses who make you comfortable. Our professional and keen doctors who bring the human touch to healthcare. Our well equipped laboratories that deliver accurate and timely results. And our pharmacies that are well stocked with quality medication. <laughs> is further supported by a team of professionals in operations, finance, Normally when we talk about uh, vaccinations, we're talking about um, initiatives or 
uh, drugs or if you know just for lack of a better word yeah things that we don't take or get injected so that they can protect us from the disease all right so we always say when you take a vaccination it doesn't mean that you won't develop the disease yes you can develop the disease but what it does it makes sure that it reduces the severity of the disease so for example if you get um maybe a flu vaccine it doesn't mean you'll never get flu but when you get flu it is manageable it's not severe it doesn't uh, lead to most of the complications that we see with most of these illnesses so i'm um, talking about travel vaccines and uh, it's important because this is one of the initiatives to try and reduce disease incidents and spread to different countries both for the traveler and where the traveler will be visiting so the travel vaccines are helpful for both so you the traveler you don't end up coming back home with what you didn't bargain for and of course you also don't pose a risk to people in the country you will be visiting first and foremost we talk of when we talk of travel vaccines we try and uh, kind of categorize them in maybe i would say three categories because you might find these vaccines go overlapping So we usually talk about uh, routine vaccines. So routine vaccines are what are uh, expected in the normal schedule. So if you look at the normal uh, the schedule of the vaccination, you might find a few there. For example, you know, for someone who does the usual annual uh, checks and vaccines, few would fall among them here. Yeah. Then we have what we call the recommended vaccines. So these are normally based on where you're traveling to, what activity you'll be carrying out. Because, for example, if let's say you're going for uh, maybe a fellowship or a, a, a you know, visiting hospitals or somewhere where you expect to come into contact with uh, different fluids, then probably hepatitis B would be something you want to consider. So there are those we call uh, recommended vaccines based on where you'll be traveling to. The season, because I mean, it's not the same when you're traveling in the summer uh, or when you're traveling, you know, in winter and the like. Yeah? Then there's what we call the um, required. So these are the ones you'll find from the point of entry. You'll be told, for example, you can't come into Kenya without a yellow vaccine. Uh, for example, uh, the, the, the book to show that you've got the yellow vaccine. Yeah? So the, those are the ones you know that internationally there are health standards that say this must be done if you're going to a certain place or at a certain country and they be very strict about it and you'll not be allowed to enter if you don't have the same vaccination. Then we have quite a number of vaccines that could fall under the travel vaccines based on need, based on Thank you.